I think the first thing to really train yourself into believing is that this is not your fault. Yeah. You have done absolutely nothing wrong and you have been hurt by someone who was put in, in a position of trust. Mm -hmm. And there's no pressure on you to do anything that you don't feel comfortable doing, but there are professional people who can help you yeah. and help you manage these very complicated thoughts that you have got and just organise them and allow you to recover yeah. and heal, <clears throat> which isn't going to be overnight, but you will get there yeah. because people do. Yeah, and I think there's going to be a lot of like, um, God, when you hold a secret in, even just a little one, there's it's so much weight mm. in everything you do and you're so scared all the time and like because I've kept things like important things in before not as heavy as this but like still scary things to like tell people and it just is so like you just feel so downtrodden all the time and like and the scared like being anxious and like you're just constantly like your brain is ticking that's why I probably like smoking loads of weed and like just to relax and not think about it because you can't do it on your own and I think that it would be really good to speak to somebody. If there's anyone out there, if it, if there isn't anyone in your life, like you, you haven't told your family, which is like the big scary thing. And there's like, if you don't have really close friends or anyone that you could trust, then actually probably is just really important to speak to somebody professional. Cause just even just saying it out loud to somebody will feel different. I think like, yeah. it will be like, okay, I've accepted it. I've said it's happened. It's in the world. And that doesn't have to be like ev anyone knows about it except someone who's like paid to keep it secret or something. Like, yeah. you know, it might just help the first step being like it's out there. Um, yeah. So when there's abuse in a family, I mean, I can't even imagine how many layers of mm. weight that is. You know, it's betrayal yeah. not just from this person, but the rest of the family. Yeah. You say you fear that they're going to call you a liar. Um, I think you're based in the States, and I'm not sure how uh, it works with your doctor. Uh, but in the UK, our, we can go to a doctor and they can re refer us to a counsellor. So there might you might want to go through a medical route rather than um, uh, sort of looking someone up in a directory. Mm -hmm. um, there, there, are, there are people here that have, have dealt with this kind of thing that will help you. Um, and like you said, I think you... You have got this weight on you, and it might be about both Kate and I work using our imaginations, and a lot of what we do is imagining something and making it a reality. And that's what you have to do, is imagine the scenario where you are free from this lie, you are close to the members of the family that you choose to be, and the people that this member of the family that's hurt you is not part of your life. Mm. And you will get that state if you hold on to the way that you want your life to be. Yeah. And you will get there. And I wish you all the best. And I think it's probably like important to... Because that you might be really far away from those places. You might not be like ready to actually tell anybody um, that, you know... Well, I mean, you've told us, which is a really That's massive a brave step. step. And, um, but like things that you could do, like other than like looking for professional help to like help make your life better. I'm just trying to think of things like advice for that isn't about actually facing up to it if she's not um, ready to do that. Mm. So I think it's just really important that you take care of yourself, um, that you try and be like as healthy as you can be, and. Mm. And writing down everything you feel, like keep a diary. Because even if you don't, I've written diaries before and I'm going through bad times so and I don't even read them back. I don't know what I've even said. That's a good idea. And a good it's advice. just like, feels better to like have got it out of my system. And, um, and I don't know if you are creative or not, but like being creative and getting lost in something that's artistic, even if it's like not you making it, if you don't feel like you want to make things, like being part of it somehow 
can be a, can be really helpful. It's like escapism in a really positive way. It's not escapism through like drugs or like booze or whatever something that could really hurt you. Like getting involved in something creatively or a project that you feel passionately about might give you more confidence and bring something to your life that's like new. Mm. I don't know if you have the means to be able to like travel or like depending on what you feel like you need maybe you like need some fresh air and you want to just go like travel to Europe or I don't know something really life-changing like go to Africa or like Central America or something that might be completely new something that I feel like you need something that's just completely yours and different to anything you've had before as well um whether it's on a small scale or a a big scale because then it's completely separate to any of that like dark Mm -hmm. scary like sad feelings Mm. and it'll give you confidence in yourself that you can achieve things Mm. and yeah and most importantly like you're just not guilty of anything like nothing is your fault and like um that'll be the biggest thing I think to get over is like actually what it's done to you and your self-esteem and the way that it's made you think about yourself is like remembering like who you are and it doesn't like make you who you are it doesn't it's just something that's happened to you that you will move forward from at one stage when you're ready to so yeah good luck and you should i think she should like write back and tell us as well more